Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Qasim. I'm here to express my views about the ongoing war between Israel and Hamas group. If you like it, please share it. Thank you. One week ago, war started between Israel and Hamas group. There has been a huge loss of human lives. We noticed that the world was divided into three parts. One supporting Israel. Indirectly, this category doesn't want the war to end unless the enemy is defeated. The second supporting Palestine. Indirectly, even this category doesn't want the war to end unless the army is defeated. And the third supporting both. This category wants the war to end. Our program is not intended to justify who is right and who is wrong among these three groups. They must have their own reasons to support Israel, Palestine or both. Our intention is to highlight a few questions. Like we said, what was started between Israel and the Hamas group? Why is the entire Gaza being attacked and innocents being killed? If their intention is to put an end to Hamas group, why do they have to destroy the entire Gaza Strip and the people living in it, which includes women and children in large numbers? We hear that Gaza is a very small city but hugely populated which is also a result of Israeli policies which we will not discuss in this video and heavy Israeli surveillance is in place so they are very much aware that Gaza is heavily populated with women and children with this surveillance in place they even know every step taken by Gaza people with all this information at hand which human law encourages Israel to brutally kill Palestine by bombing them as per the initial reports Hamas attacked innocent Israeli people and brutally killed them as well as kidnapped some of them it's 100% a heinous crime is the Hamas Palestine's official army no if they were the official army, to some extent it would have been agreed that one nation was attacked by another nation and in response civilians were bombed. However, no respected nation will go for such a heinous attack. Though we notice that few nations have committed such heinous crimes in the recent years, that's a separate topic. But in this scenario, Hamas group is not Palestine's official army. If you were a human, you would attack Hamas areas and not complete Gaza, killing thousands of innocents including women and children. Please note, the state of Palestine has neither a land army, nor an air force, nor a navy. The Palestine Security Services (PSS), not to confuse with the Preventive Security Service, do not dispose of heavy weapons and advanced military equipment like tanks. Also, one area we must not ignore is that when Benjamin Netanyahu became Prime Minister in December 2022 there were a lot of concerns at both the Palestinian and Israeli ends they were very deeply concerned about the laws that have been put through on the back of the Hamas name is the Israel government trying to fulfill its motives that were of concern even to Israel left wing by attacking Gaza in this manner and planning to invade it while Netanyahu's Likud party forms a core of the new government, far-right allies, part of the religious Zionism ideological movement will occupy prominent positions, influencing policy towards Palestinians living in the occupied territories. The presence of these politicians at the highest table in Israel would have been unthinkable just a few years ago. But their rise is indicative of the growth of the religious Zionist movement in Israel. Don't forget, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's contentious judicial overhaul, deepening a showdown with the far-right government that has bitterly divided the nation and put the country on the brink of a constitutional crisis. The judicial overhaul, which opponents characterize as a profound threat to Israeli democracy, has infuriated Israelis across many segments of society, bringing hundreds of thousands into the streets to march at one protest after another for almost 36 weeks. Another concern for Israelis was that Mr. Netanyahu's government could appoint convicted cronies to cabinet posts, roll back rights for women and minorities and annex the occupied West Bank. By keeping these points in mind, if we think about Israel's intelligence agencies which are considered as the world's topmost agencies failed to identify the attack that was coming from Hamas it is something that is hard to believe but the fact is it failed miserably it means Israel's intelligence agencies are no longer the world's topmost agencies interestingly their failure did give the Israel government a fair chance along with Western support to attack Gaza though they say that they want to eliminate Hamas their approach is more of an invasion than eliminating one group. 
we advise every human on this planet to support palestine to get its rights to get its freedom and let's have only one category across the world instead of the current situation where we notice there are three categories we advise you to stop supporting israel's method of dealing with the situation that is bombing gaza and killing innocent people which primarily includes women and children we also advise you to stop supporting hamas for attacking israel thank you